My name is Matt Alvin. I'm 32 years old. I am a hairdresser. I have three children, and Danny is my last born. He, he, he has received two bustle, malaria, Maria Batoki. And he's, he's strong and very healthy. I can I can notice that uh, my my first my first few children they they are dull, they are not strong like Danny's own. So I can say it's because of the bustle, that's why Dan is nearly too strong. Welcome back to Africa Science Focus, the weekly science and development show from SciDevNet. I am Ogechie Kianyao. That was Martha Obeng, a Ghanaian mother whose six-month-old baby received two doses of the malaria vaccine. According to the World Health Organization, in 2022, a staggering 94% of all malaria cases and 95% of deaths occurred in the African region. Unfortunately, Young children are most vulnerable to malaria, with children under five bearing 78% of malaria deaths in the region. Ghana has made great strides against malaria. The World Health Organization reports a 90% drop in malaria mortality in Ghana since 2012. One strategy was the 2023 approval and use of the R21 matrix M malaria vaccine. To find out about the impact of these strategies, our reporter, Justice Baidu, visited a Ghanaian healthcare center. He also spoke to Ivy Nikiwaye, the head of public health department at St. Gregory Catholic Hospital, Buduburam, Accra, Ghana. I'm just walking through one of the corridors of the St. Joseph Hospital uh, here in Buduburam. According to the health workers here, a third of the cases they see here daily is related to malaria. I'm Ivy Sabrina Nikwi a family health nurse and the head of Budumbam Sub District Indep. With this fascinating malaria happens to be one of our top 10 priority cases as far as OPD is concerned. But with the intervention of ITN, which is the mosquito legs, being given at the antenatal clinics and here, child welfare clinics, there have been a reduction. But when it comes to cases in, of like under five cases, under five children, there has been a reduction in morbidity and mortality cases and malaria here because of the introduction of the new vessel. To listen to the rest of this podcast episode, click on the link in the description below.